To begin with our introduction, menu planning is the process to make the list of food items going to be served in any type of meal, whether it is a breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Farm to table is a social movement which promotes serving local food at a restaurant. So our restaurant have a direct relationship with local farmers, which is beneficially to the local community. And it is a fine and dining experience. So the name of our cuisine is a Lebanese. Our theme is a Middle East fusion restaurant in Sisaba. The location is a paradiso location near Albert Park. Operating time is from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Employees shift. There are two shifts. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. So during this ongoing pandemic, so we decided just to operate from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And employee shift, only one shift from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The capacity, 30 tables get up to 350 people max, average five per table. Target market, our target market, all group of people, working class, civil servant, and private firm. Uh, social class, we have higher income earners, ages of 20 years and above. Uh, religion, we have Christianity, Islam, Muslim, Hinduism, and Buddhist. In our ingredient sourcing, we use uh, local farmers, supermarket, and import spices. Uh, we all, all food is halal, halal, halal. All food is halal, no, no beef, no pork. And uh, moving on to our appetizer, we have Baba Gonis, a roasted eggplant with dip. It is made up of eggplant, tahimi, olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and salt. Serving it with a crisp vegetable, flat bread, and a packed pita chips. Cooking method, we use smoke cooking method, and a list of ingredients are as listed below. Moving on to our Medi Mediterranean chickpea salad. Cooking method, we use raw and blanching our ingredients, all seasoned vegetable, chickpeas, dressing, fresh yogurt, olive oil, we also use lemon, add salt in it, papers, we also add vinegar in it. So moving on, we have uh, mini kafta kebabs, cooking method, we use grill, our ingredients, we use a uh, minced lamb meat with herbs, uh, spice with garlic. We use uh, serving it with yogurt, flat bread, lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. We also add ginger, ginger in it, and we also add uh, cumin, coriander, and we also add egg in it. Thank you very much, Tanisio. Moving on, we come to the main dishes of our menu. To begin with, we have the chicken kabsa served with Arabian chicken rice. This dish's secret ingredient is the kabsa spice mix, which consists of cardamom, white pepper, saffron, cinnamon, allspice, and lime powder. In a pan, this chicken is cooked with all these spices and seasoning in tomato puree with carrots and diced tomatoes. After which, the chicken is then removed to be grilled, and in that same pan, the rice and dates are steamed inside to soak up all the flavory goodness. The rice and chicken are then combined and served. Our second dish is the Lebanese fish with herby tahini sauce over rice. In our restaurant, we'll be using baked mahi-mahi, seasoned with salt, pepper, butter, lemon, and coriander. The steamed rice will be mixed with peanuts, onions, and butter. This will be drizzled with a delicious tahini sauce, which is made up of mixing minced garlic, lemon juice, and water. To garnish, we will be using cilantro, onion, peanuts, and lime slices. Our third dish is the shawarma, which is the slow-cooked lamb. This is a juicy lamb shoulder that has been marinated for over a day with lemon juice, minced garlic, ground coriander, ground cumin, cardamom, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, salt and pepper, and extra virgin oil, which the lamb is then roasted in the oven and poured with water all around it and is tightly covered with foil. After roasting this lamb in the oven, it gets transferred to the barbecue grill and then is coated with tan juices, which sears it until it becomes a deep golden crust. To complement this dish, we will serve with the coconut chutney, a basic blend of fresh coconut with chilies, ginger, salt, little oil, mustard seeds, dried red chilies, and curry leaves. 
Our third and final dish is the Lebanese roasted vegetables with lentils and lemon yogurt sauce. This is a spice mix made of paprika, cumin, ground coriander, cardamom, Ceylon cinnamon, and nutmeg. The salad mix itself is made out of lentils, sweet potatoes, red onions, carrots, capsicums, tomatoes, spinach, peanuts, and tofu. The tofu can either be fried or crumbed. The sauce is made out of Greek yogurt, extra virgin oil, lemon juice, lemon zest, and a garnish of parsley. Thank you. Bula, uh, friends. Uh, I will be presenting on the side dishes and dessert. So there are a total of seven side dishes and seven dessert. The first side dish is spice potato salad. This dish is actually made up of good potatoes, just in a mix of olive oil and minced garlic with crushed black pepper and drops of vitality essential oil. The next side dish is uh, pita bread. Pita bread is also called as uh, the Arabic bread. It is a circular in shape and it is a Eleven double layered flatbreads that originated in the Middle East it is prepared with flour, water, baking yeast, and salt. For toast salad, for toast salad is consists of fresh salad made up of seasonal vegetables, uh, includes uh, lettuce, uh, red onions, green peppers, and radishes, and is topped with the iconic baked or fried pita bread. Then the dressing is covered over the salad. The fourth uh, side dish is Lebanese cucumber salad. It consists of English cucumbers, red onions, drizzled with coriander and salt, and tossed onto white vinegar, water, and sugar. Turmeric coconut rice. This is brown rice that is simmered in seasoned coconut milk with onion, garlic, and uh, thin. And the turmeric gives the dish its rich yellow color. These spicy wedges, and they call it in Lebanese the batata har. This Lebanese spicy potatoes is traditionally known as batata har. It's made up of roasted golden potato cubes. Uh, we can also replace the, the potatoes. We can use kumala, breadfruit, and cassava. And it's topped up with flavor sauce. We want to the dessert. The, the first uh, dessert is uh, the shabia. It is a delicate Lebanese dessert made, made up layers of uh, filo dough that is dressed with a mixture of ghee and then filled with homemade ester cream and baked to a golden perfection. The semolina yogurt cake, this moist cake is made up of semolina flour and yogurt uh, with a simple syrup of white sugar and water poured on top. Uh, for topping, we use uh, fresh local seasonal uh, sliced foods. The Lebanese ice cream. Uh, we call it uh, booza. This is made with uh, ester and mastic uh, gum and stop the fresh nuts. Uh, this combination is fist in your mouth. The Lebanese or semolina vermicelli is a traditional Middle Eastern dessert prepared with baked vermicelli or kunafa pastry sandwiched between sweet cream and garnished with minced nuts. And last one is the mamol cookies. Mamol a buttery date filled Middle Eastern cookies that will melt in your mouth and are hardly scrumptious. It is naturally sweetened with dates, and these have minimal added sugar. Thank you. So beverages, we have uh, two beverages, uh, two types of beverages, basically the hot beverages and the cold beverages. The hot beverages consists of the Arabian tea. The Arabian tea is similar to the regular breakfast tea, but is often made with a uh, mint or cardamom or with a dash of milk and is served in long glasses. We also have uh, coffee. Coffee is uh, basically the regular coffee and um, how, it's, uh, how it's served depends on the guest, whether with milk or without milk or with sugar, or without sugar, that all depends on the guest or whoever is order ordering it. We also have green tea and uh, rose petal tea. Rose petal tea which is obviously made of uh, tea that uh, is made with rose petals and water and also honey or sugar to give it a bit of the bit of taste or the sweet taste and the cold beverages there'll be no alcoholic beverages sold in this restaurant basically the reason being is basically due to the fact that you would like to avoid any altercations during the guests uh, dining or during the stay at the restaurant and uh, fruit smoothies fruit smoothies are basically going to be the cold beverages that will be um, sold in the restaurant or made in the restaurant and um, the, it is going to be made from local fruits blended with milk 
the milk uh, could be either you have the option to choose from dairy milk or almond as the options and uh, reason being is to consider guests who may be lact lactose intolerant which is why we have uh, almond milk as the alternative and um, the fruit smoothies are going to be the local fruits bananas popo mangoes soursop pineapples and watermelon and uh, the dairy milk is basically going to be either skimmed or whole milk and uh, like men as i mentioned earlier almond is the alternative option to dairy milk food costing we have lamb shawarma or slow cooked lamb 25 percent of the food cost added to the total recipe cost is the selling price so we have about 11 ingredients and um, the quality required is basically the amount of uh, the amount you need to make this dish and they have been broken down in uh, basically the two grams and uh, milliliters the unit purchased as most of these like i mentioned earlier grams and milliliters most of these uh, ingredients are bought in uh, either one of these two units either bought in kilograms or in liters which is why we've broken them down in other grams or milliliters the unit cost and the recipe cost so we use the formula of um, unit cost over unit purchase times quantity required for each ingredient which led us down to the total of 27.87 when you run that off and the markup of 25 percent as mentioned earlier and uh, when we added the total uh, recipe cost and the markup of 25 percent which, which was uh, 6.96 we came up with a total of 34.84 as a round off so that's basically the food costing for our main dish lamb shawarma thank you to my colleague for his part of the presentation i'm going to talk about the challenges first challenge would be curfew hours that is limit movement then we have the online connectivity issues people nowadays find it very expensive to connect to the internet and use uh, the online mode of learning as a platform um, restrictions um, in conducting face-to-face -face meetings. We, we had to um, call or we had to virtually meet rather than meeting face-to-face -face and have discussions. Um, only takeaways are allowed, therefore customers can't uh, really experience the fine dining and ambience regarding the cuisine. A limitation in visiting local farms. We will um, cooks or the owners of the restaurants will not be able to visit farms face to face so the only thing they can rely on is um, the description uh, featuring menus that are easy to cook and popular knowing the current situation we cannot be having or feature, featuring something which is very hard to get um, opening and closing of business hours within the curfew hour uh, possibility of business to be non-productive people nowadays do not have money so it's going to be very hard for our business to bloom. Uh, prices to be affordable, strict wearing of PPEs in these humid uh, weather conditions, um, wearing of the mask, wearing of uh, um, the hairnets, wearing of other PPEs can be a challenge to cooks. Um, quality of food and vegetables can be compromised due to transportation. Um, issues uh, which will be faced uh, by the restaurant owners when the vegetables are delivered. Some of the recommendations is operate within the curfew hours, make use of the online platform learning, um, online orders and food delivery at doorstep, mobile selling of food and vegetables by farmers, that is farmers can go uh, from restaurant to restaurant displaying their vegetables to the owners online advertisement of food to attract uh, more customers decontamination of restaurants frequently so that the customers feel safe when purchasing the food restaurant to be in compliant with the ministry of uh, health protocols and requirements adapting to the new norm we all know that we all have to adapt to the new norm um, need for all staff to be trained on the COVID uh, protocol, safe measures to ensure a very good work environment, very safe work environment rather. Reduction in uh, price to meet customers' need with reduced wage and salary. And change in menu depending on the type of product uh, received from suppliers. So our menu will be changing constantly depending on the seasonal food that will be supplied to us by the farmers. 
And to conclude, all in all, it can be concluded that the farm to table concept is practiced globally in different countries around the world. Restaurants in Fiji benefits a lot from this concept and not only it promotes sustainability for our future generation, but it also educates our youth to eat healthy, stay healthy and save money. Thank you for your time. And this is our presentation. Thank you.